Here I am with Omak Hydraulic Puller F275.30. This machine has a max pull force of 30 kN and allows you to pull one rope in overhead string in operations for the installation of one conductor or OPGW. Let's check the details together. As safety is a top priority for OMAC and has always been, we supply the machine with full covers and protection grid for bull wheels. The puller is fitted with lifting points, allowing you to unload and position the machine on site. It's placed in the middle of the machine in order to grant the right balance. The puller is equipped with a drawbar. It's used to tow the machine in the job site at low speed. The machine is fitted with four stabilizers, mechanical type, two in the front and two in the back. They are adjustable in height. The machine has four anchoring points, two on the front and two on the back. For safety reasons, you can secure the machine before the stringing operation gets started. This is a rope transmission pulley. It's an optional device, allowing you to turn your overhead machine into an underground cable laying machine. It's in steel and you can see it's a sturdy structure. And what is more, there's a 360 revolving pulley. Here we have the puller bull wheels or capstans. In hardened steel, they are synchronized mechanically, so 100% by a central gear. This is the rope clamp. It's an optional device used during the rope reel change operations for safety reasons. The puller is equipped with a built-in hydraulic reel winder arm. As you can see, it's a sturdy structure fitted with two hydraulic cylinders that allow you to load and unload reels of rope. On the shaft of the reel winder arm, you find two crosses, special type, allowing you to carry out the payout operation with the engine off. This is a very important device for a puller, the spooling device. It allows you to stratify the rope onto the reel in a very accurate way by going back and forth. It grants longer rope lifetime and a smooth pulling operation. Let's take a look at the control panel. Here you find all the control to master the pulling operation. The engine ignition, the RPM throttle, the joystick to control the pulling direction, the bypass of the digital instrument in order to exclude the digital display in case of failure, the emergency stop. This is OMAC Digital Display DEG 4.0, the latest evolution of OMAC displays supplied as a standard on all OMAC machines. It's a seven inch color touchscreen display, allowing you to display record and set working parameters, such as pull, force, speed, and time. After the pulling operation, you can download the pulling data on a USB key through the USB port and print out data in the office. Or optionally, you can print out data directly on site through a thermal printer plugged here. Below the control panel, we find three controls related to the real winder arm. This control allows you to adjust the pressure on the real winder arm. This lever enables you to lift or lower the reel. This lever allows you to rotate the reel in both directions. The puller is powered by a diesel engine. This diesel engine is water-cooled, has a power of 26 kilowatt or 35 horsepower, and has electric starting. And here we have the cooling fan. This was OMAC Hydraulic Puller. For more details, please visit our website or contact us directly.